If Ephesians has taught us anything, it's taught us that we all started in the same position. You did not come into this world alive. You did not come into this world in right standing with God. Ephesians chapter 2, right? It said that you are dead in your trespasses and sins, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air. You are by nature sons and daughters of disobedience. And this is the position that we're in. We're not breathing life. We're not worshiping Jesus. We didn't come into this world believing in God. You need to make a decision to follow Christ. And that only comes by the Spirit. And that only comes through the preaching of the Word of God as the Spirit illuminates the Word of God to our hearts. But in that dead position, the Bible has proclaimed, Ephesians chapter 2 says, But God, who is rich in mercy, and because of the great love with which he loved us, he made us alive in Christ Jesus and it's by grace that you can be saved. And you might be saying this morning, how do I get saved? The Bible's been proclaiming it just as the people in Ephesus. We saw God's choosing and Jesus is redeeming and the Spirit's sealing, but these were of the people who believed on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul writes in Corinthians that if you believe on the Lord and you profess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's putting your hope and your faith in nothing that you can do, but only in the work of Jesus Christ that justifies and sanctifies and will one day glorify us to the praise of his glorious grace. 